Hi ho, Sabine's here. So this week is gonna be a little bit different. I needed to do something because my darling kitty cats decided to break something. They broke one of my favorite teacups. And I know when I post this video, I'm probably gonna get a message from my mom being mad at me. So here's what it looks like. It's so beautiful, I love it. I'm going to start with a wet one and wash them off and then a dry paper towel to dry them off because they still had coffee in them. But first, the gloves. Awesome. I love these gloves. I just got them at Home Depot because, hey, when handling broken things, you should probably wear gloves. All right, so let's get started. Really, it's my fault that it got broken because I left it on the counter uh, right under some open cabinets. And my cat Gunter really likes to get into cabinets. Just like not even to do anything, just to be in them. So I left it under that because that's where my coffee maker is. And I, I like to use these for breakfast and for coffee and stuff. Um, so. And I want to let you guys know I'm not gonna drink any more tea or coffee out of these, out, out of this one in particular, because um, although I am reassembling it, it is definitely not food safe. Uh, ah, my gloves seem to have disappeared. Uh, I, I, at the time, I had figured um, if I'm just careful, I just need more dexterity with my hands for assembling things, and I just washed them off, so I figured there wouldn't be any little bits of. Um, ceramic or anything. I'm actually not sure what these are made out of. They're real slick and the glue doesn't actually want to hold uh, like to the surfaces. Um, but which is why I've decided I'm going to make it into a tea candle. Get it? Because it's a teacup. So it's a tea candle. Although it's not actually going to be a tea candle because those are actually really small. Uh, but yeah. I really liked assembling it. Uh, it did remind me of just a real weird puzzle, but I realized I definitely should have assembled it from the bottom up and not the top down. Because once I get to that, once I get to like that last little bit, it's just so hard to get the last little bits of um, you know, teacup in. Here's some up close shots for y'all. I really like this music. It turned out real well. It's called Bittersweet. And I'm just like, yeah. Cause you know, although, you know, I lost a teacup, I got a candle, so that's cool. And I didn't actually break up the set. See, you can see here at the bottom though, how it, I ended up kind of just jamming it together and then filling it with glue. And then I, at this point, I decided to glue the teacup to the base, just so that it's like, you know, one cohesive piece and I don't lose either of them. And I like how that spider web looked. Or I like the way that uh, when you hold it up to the light, it looks like a spider web. But it's like the glue, like it's not hard to get that like residue up. And then uh, upon reading the back of it, you know, it says you can use um, acetone. Um, but it really it just peels right up off of it. I got a, a nice little scalpel right there And some acetone. I got pure acetone because um, I tried to do doll face-ups before I might try to do that again sometime So here we are making the candle part and I got coconut oil and Earl Grey tea Which is my favorite. Uh, I decided to make you know it a tea scented candle because it's a teacup and that just makes sense. In order to do that, I um, mixed the Earl Grey with the coconut oil and let it steep into it. You don't want to use straight tea or straight water because it won't mix with the wax. It has to be oil. And there you see, you know, I had a cheese grater. That cheese grater lasted all of two seconds. 
it just did not work so I ended up getting the, my scalpel back and uh, just shaving it off. This took a long time and I realized after um, after editing that you can there's a clock on the stove and you just you can see how long I've been working on it. Ah, so here we go. Uh, I have put all the stuff I want and here's the teacup. I glued a wick that I bought at Hobby Lobby down to the base. It's a beeswax. Uh, I used beeswax and I got a beeswax wick. All good stuff. So it's the moment of truth. I tried to, you know, I've seen people wrap it around the thing. And it goes. And uh, it leaks at the bottom. So I don't know if it was, there's a hole in the bottom or if it just melted the glue or the glue was still wet because I didn't let it sit overnight like I should have. Um, and so it just flooded right out the bottom. I think it, there might have been just a, a, a hole in the bottom. And I was just so frustrated because I'm just like, oh, and then once I poured it back into the pot, uh, it started to like crackle and I was worried that the glue had mixed in with the wax, which would also be bad, but you know, what can you do? I guess I still had more wax and I still technically have more wax, but it's just like, oh man. Um, luckily I was able to, you know, like swirl it around so I'm just building up the sides so that it so that like a, there's a thin layer of wax already on the sides I had read online at some point that uh, you know if you're putting it a candle in a glass container you should like heat up the glass container first so that the hot wax when poured into the glass container doesn't shatter but I figured to be alright because it's a teacup and it's meant to hold hot things unlike a, like a water glass or something so frustration oh and oh my goodness is wax and oil just cake your hands I got that brush and I'm um, adding more layers to the sides of the teacup just to build up the wax so that it doesn't melt through or you know just filling up those cracks I really should have let it soak overnight it was so bad or not soak but you know I should have paced myself like I did this all in one day because I wanted to like that was what I decided I'm gonna do this today and so I did and I should have let it cure it has since cured though so that's cool okay I'm adding a little bit more color uh, I bought some little color things so that it can be the right color. It turned out real orange, but that's because beeswax dries um, like an opaque white. Uh, but you know, once it and like you know, when it's melted, it'll look like tea. At least that's the plan. Gotta get that spoon out of there. All right. So this time I'm pouring it a little bit at a time and letting it dry. I'm blowing on it and all that, turning down that heat. And I ended up scraping up the sides. Actually, I ended up like the tea cup actually ended coming off of the base, but that meant just meant I get to scrub the base so that it doesn't look terrible. And I lost some footage. Like I don't know where it went, but there it is. I was just filling it up, like I said. And there we have it. One reassembled tea cup. Like I said, the spiderweb looking thing on the side looked real cool. I think. Every cloud has a silver twining. I wanted to use like a goodbye type thing, but I didn't. So there you go. Later, everybody. I'll see you next week.